Hey everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm going to be showing you how to import pre-optimized SVGs into your Figma files using the Convertify plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go up to the Resources tab in your Figma file, and if you search for the word Convertify, so that's C-O-N-V-E-R-T-I-F-Y, and under the Plugins tab you'll see Convertify pop up. If you click on that, you'll be able to run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or you can go to the more options icon, which I'd recommend and click on the save to Figma plugins item. And that'll just save it to your plugins list for easy access later. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm gonna to go to my canvas. I'm just gonna right click anywhere. I'm gonna go down to plugins and I'm gonna click on the saved plugins item and then click on Convertify. And that's gonna run the plugin that we just saved a second ago. So you notice here that the plugin by default automatically uh, sets itself to export Figma to Sketch. But if we open up this dropdown, we'll see some different options here. And today we're gonna to be going down to the import to Figma section, and we're gonna click on the import optimized SVG to Figma option. So this is gonna change the plugin's context to accept SVG files. And just to show you the difference between importing them normally and importing them through the plugin, I'm just gonna drop a couple of SVGs onto the Figma canvas. So I've just got these two that I'll drop in. And if we zoom in here, you can see that these two SVGs are basically uh, vector-based SVGs. So one is this bare vector and one is just this uh, sort of flat illustration. So if we open up the layers, you can see here that we've basically got a bunch of vector layers, a bunch of groups, and you can expand these out and that's what the vectors and SVGs are made of. And same thing for this bear SVG. So if we open up the bear SVG, you can see that we've got a bunch of groups, we've got a bunch of vector layers, and inside of the groups are even more vector layers. So quite a lot of layers in there, and you can just keep going and see what that looks like. So that's just kind of a base reference of what we're working with here. And so what we're gonna be doing now is importing these SVGs again, but we're gonna be doing it through the Convertify plugin. So all you need to do to import an SVG via the plugin is to drag and drop the SVG file into the plugin here. And that will automatically add a optimized SVG to your Figma page. And it's gonna add this little optimized flag at the end just so you can easily see the difference on your canvas. And so if we compare these two, you can see that this uh, SVG is much simpler than the one that we imported a second ago. So the first thing you'll notice is there's basically no grouping. Uh, so the groups have been removed and there's far less vector layers as well. So the vector layers have kind of been simplified to reduce the number of them and merge them together when they uh, are appropriate to do that. And we can see this in an even more uh, striking difference when we import the bare SVG. So I'm just gonna drag and drop that SVG into the plugin and that's gonna import the optimized bare SVG as well. So visually you can see these are identical, they look exactly the same. Uh, but if we open up the group here, you can see that there's uh, quite a lot less vector layers than the previous version. So if we open up the original one that we imported, uh, there's many more vector layers in here than we've got in our uh, imported one here. And the reason for that is the plugin's basically tidying up all of these vector paths so it's um, merging them. So you can see this is all of the vector layers in this, in this particular SVG. Uh, whereas if we go into the original one, you can see that there's many, many more uh, vector layers, many more groups, nested groups, nested layers. Uh, and in our other one for comparison, much more simplified, uh, much more optimized for Figma. So you can actually just work with these paths much more easily rather than having them all kind of split up into many, many more layers and nested groups. Um, so this is just a really easy way to pre-optimize your SVGs before they get added to Figma. Uh, this is gonna help simplify the paths, it's gonna simplify the uh, vector shapes. And again, it's gonna look the same, but much more easy to work with when you're actually drilling down into these vector layers and needing to modify things. So um, yeah, I just wanted to keep that really quick for today, just to show you how to pre-optimize your SVGs easily. Uh, if you want to be adding SVGs into Figma, uh, of course you can do it natively, but now you also have the option of uh, importing them via Convertify if you wanna pre-optimize and simplify those SVG paths. 
So I'll leave it there for today. And I hope that this plugin is useful if you've been wondering how to import uh, simplified optimized SVGs. Uh, feel free to give this a try with you or your team and I hope it helps with your workflow. So that's going to be all for today. Thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.